And hello everybody, hope everybody's alright, hope everybody's looking after themselves. I keep getting a question um, a lot. Why did I set up Freedom Fire? Why did I set up this YouTube channel? Well, the answer is quite a complex one, to be totally honest with uh, each and everybody. When I grew up, was growing up, um, at a young age, um, I wasn't diagnosed with any learning disabilities or anything like that until I got more or less into uh, junior school and uh, then I was diagnosed with special needs. Um, when I got up to around year five, six uh, in junior school, they diagnosed me uh, that I could have um, dyslexia. Uh, never did any um, proper tests or diagnosis of it, to be totally and utterly honest with you. Then I went on to uh, having high school um, and that type of thing. Um, went to Holy Trinity Church of England Senior School, um, year seven, year eight. Um, Still not really properly diagnosed with dyslexia, to be totally honest. Um, till around year nine, uh, when they actually did a proper test and diagnosed me that I was dyslexic. Um, around this time as well, um, I started getting stalked, um, harassed, um, sexually harassed, um and things like that um, then uh, after a few years of being stalked and harassed um, I ended up trying to take my own life um, first time uh, was jumping from um, a staircase um, second time um, was overdosing um, to be totally honest uh, third time, uh, was jumping into, uh, off a roof, in a sense. Um, fourth time, uh, was jumping in front of a bus, uh, believe it or not, guys. Um, so, why did it lead me to, um, uh, doing this, um, channel? Well, when I was stalked and harassed and was growing up um, in that type of thing, uh, I never got the help I needed. Um, I always kept getting put on waiting list after waiting list after waiting list. Um, so the only uh, way um, I escaped, uh, in a sense, um, was doing radio. And growing up uh, with a supporting family. Um, if I didn't have that supporting family, um, I wouldn't be here. Um, meeting um, friends along the way in the radio um, industry. But I had to learn um, that you can't trust um, everybody. Uh, you have to be very careful who you trust and who you speak to uh, words people can use against you um, happens a lot uh, with people um, in power like schools um, colleges universities police councils MPs councillors doctors um, mental health nurses mental health doctors Community mental health nurses, um, disability nurses, they all use this information against us um, to try and put us down. Um, you always, always have, you no know, matter what you do in this life, you always come across corrupt doctors, corrupt nurses, corrupt police, corrupt services. Um, normally, um, one in ten. Uh, I turn around and say, um, are corrupt, 
uh, if we're totally honest with you. Um, there's always one that just wants to change things, uh, but the other nine um, are letting them down. Um, it happens a lot, a lot. Um, but why did I set up uh, the channel? It was the question. Uh, and that's um, simple, to be totally honest. My experience um, of being let down uh, by a corrupt world, uh, a corrupt government, a corrupt council, a corrupt police force, um, is an experience that I want to share with uh, each and every one of you and I want to build change and the only way um, we will fight this is for everybody to fight it and create that change we can't do it together we need to be a community um, and in arm in arm uh, fighting for that change and that's what really uh, drawn me um to um this youtube um uh, game um and the other question i keep getting as well is why do we only work with certain individuals and things like that um you've got to uh have faith um in certain people um which is hard uh for me actually um you've got to get to know them and you've got to know to know what their actually aims and goals are and if you work it out, you actually uh, find out that they want the same thing um, as you do. Uh, they want change. And uh, the only way we'll actually get that is uh, working together to actually achieve that change and actually make a better future and um, a better life for everybody. Um, sadly, a lot of it does come down to money and greed um and power um but uh, why can't they use that greed and that power to uh, create jobs uh, and create a better life uh, for the working class people um there's a lot of uh, questions uh, that need to be answered um, and uh, a lot of people are scared to uh, actually answer them and why is that because the power greedy young group bastards in a sense uh, are threatened them uh, that they will lose the jobs and they will lose their livelihoods if they actually give us um, answers um, which is actually sad and that's the, actually the corrupt world um, we actually um, live in and that happens a lot uh, with uh, the media industry as well um, you only get certain uh, jobs if you promote their business uh, perhaps let's say for example the bbc uh, you don't take the bbc's name in vain and you say that the bbc is one of the fantastic broadcasters they can do no wrong they've got fantastic presenters they got a fantastic building uh, all the money gets spent in the proper way to afford broadcasting for the generations even though it's a bile of crap and half the time the money goes on uh, fancy holidays for the uh, directors and um, things like that but yet uh, people that work for the BBC can't actually tell you that uh, because they're actually signed into a contract and it all go down to breach a contract then and the BBC will sue them and um, that's what happened um, as well with the um, sex scandals to be totally honest uh, with the BBC money talks um, and it's an awful thing, uh, but I hope that brings this to light. Um, why uh, the Freedom Fighter channel is uh, here, and I hope that answers um, why I set up the channel. Thank you.